you guys are amazing. You you're you are like the greatest mediators of all time collectively as a team. So so once in a while when you run into that truly impossible situation, you know, that's okay. Write up the memorandum. We're fine. And I know you've done I know you've done everything you could, but let's talk about why sometimes we don't get agreements. One of the things I want to always emphasize is there's nothing else like mediation. A lot of people think that mediation and arbitration are synonymous. Arbitration is the antithesis of mediation. I know you know this, but I want to help you to articulate that. So I would say mediation is the antithesis of arbitration. Arbitration is private litigation. Mediation is the only form of assisted dispute engagement for which volition is a defining quality. Mediation is hard compared to arbitration and even litigation. I'm not saying that arbitration and litigation are easy, but what I am saying is you're guaranteed to have an outcome where something is decided. Whereas in mediation, as you know, we have to help people create their own agreements. So mediators have to be incredibly skilled and practiced. And the practice you get at this program is a lot of what makes you the fantastic, incredible mediators that you are. So examples of things that are happening that are just briefly that are not mediation that are often called mediation, a social worker's family meeting. Okay, so when the social workers bring parents together and they say we're going to have a meeting and the parents can't agree, the social worker just imposes the outcome on them and just tells the judge, okay, this is, it's going to be week on, week off or whatever it's going to be. That's arbitration, but it's referred to as mediation as a matter of course. And so what that does is it damages mediation. Buddy, you're snoring. <laughs> the other thing is child custody recommending counselors are commonly referred to even in the court literature as child custody recommending mediators. And what they do is they evaluate the families and then write a report to the court. This is what the, the parenting plan should be. The problem with this is people think that that's mediation. And so it damages the reputation of what I believe is the most important piece of the puzzle for a better form of social peace and justice. If we can help people learn to mediate, we can help people learn to negotiate better, more successfully, less harmfully. I was watching uh, one of the football games recently and uh, number four went to charge and he was going to get in a fight with the other team and number 11 grabs him and holds him back. And then uh, on the next play, so, so that number 11 was acting as a mediator in a sense. And the next play, number 11 was going to go start a fight with the other team and number four was holding him back. So the point being, we all need mediators sometimes because when our emotions are triggered, you know, we need somebody to be able to help us not harm ourselves and others. And so that's what our education platform is about. And if we damage the reputation of mediation by calling things that are arbitration mediation, then it hurts us. It hurts mediation. It hurts humanity.